Good morning, you're watching Metro Minutes. Now to the race for Chicago's next mayor. The runoff election between Lori Lightfoot and Tony Preckwinkle is just two weeks from today. You don't have to wait until election day to cast your vote though. Early voting sites for all 50 wards are now up and running. You can early vote through April 1st. Plus, the college admissions cheating scandal rocking universities across the country. The Chicago Symphony Orchestra is canceling more shows as a strike by the musicians enters a second week. The musicians are fighting for their benefits and wages. Negotiations over the weekend ended with no agreement. Another meeting will be held at a later date, which has not been released yet. For canceled shows, ticket holders may exchange them for future dates, donate their tickets, or request a refund. The Chicago Symphony Orchestra's month-long strike continues. Musicians voted Monday night to reject what CSO management called their last, best, and final offer. The union says management's latest offer doesn't give them the raises and pension benefits they asked for. Multiple, multiple concerts have been canceled over the past month, but musicians have held free concerts for the public in the meantime. The next free concert is on April 15th at the Apostolic Church of God. R. Kelly left Cook County Jail less than 24 hours ago after posting bail. The R&B artist faces 10 counts of aggravated sexual abuse of four victims. Three of the alleged victims are minors. Kelly is pleading not guilty to the charges. Kelly spent the weekend in jail. He was not able to post the $100,000 bond until yesterday. This all started with a documentary called Surviving R. Kelly. The documentary covered allegations against him. And one of Kelly's accusers in the documentary, Asante McGee, was extremely happy to hear about Kelly's charges. $100 for 28 seconds. That's what R. Kelly fans say they got this weekend during a concert in Springfield. Kelly performed a little snippet of his hit song, Bump and Grind. He did spend an hour with fans taking pictures and even dancing with them. Kelly posted a message on his Instagram after his show saying, quote, This is how I got to get paid right now. The 52-year-old is facing 10 counts of aggravated criminal sex abuse. And President Trump's head of Homeland Security is out. And so is his Secret Service director. What the big shakeup in Washington means next. And Portilla's 56-cent cake slice may be too sweet to pass up.